Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The daily uh, Ukrainian front update here. One article from the Ukrainians, one article from the Russians. Let's see how they uh, succeed in lying to us, like always. Why? Because these guys tell us something, these guys tell us something else, and it seems like their pieces of information don't overlap. <laughs> they don't confirm one another. So let's start with the Ukrainians. I'm going to jump from the Ukrainians to Russians and so on. Ukraine Forum, today, the 12th of July 2023. War update. 22 combat engagements recorded in five sectors of the front. Heavy fighting ongoing. In the Kupiansk, Liman, Bakhmut, Avdivka and Marinka directions, 22 combat engagements have been recorded in the past day. Heavy battles are ongoing. So these are the same, the same directions, which are on the map. This is Ukrainian map. This is where the front is. Here is uh, Luhansk, Donetsk, uh, Zaporozhye, uh, Kherson. Here is the Crimean Peninsula. So, and this is Kharkiv. So here is this front, right here. This is what they're talking about. This is the area. Now the black AK-47s that uh, uh, suggest that they had some little encounters, combat engagements. So let's go back to the Ukrainians. According to the general staff, the enemy concentrated its main efforts on the indicated directions. Very interesting. I haven't seen Mr. Zaluzny, General Zaluzny, in some time. All right, but anyway, or Budanov for the, the same. I haven't seen these guys. In total, during the day, the Russian forces launched 59 airstrikes on the positions of the defense forces of Ukraine and populated areas, as well as MLRS 40 attacks. The invaders also attacked Ukraine with Shahid-type drones. As a result of the enemy attacks, there are dead and wounded among... Okay, I'm gonna skip that BS. Why? Because they all tell me how many uh, civilians died and died on... Uh, the Russians tell us, oh, civilians died, killed by the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians say, well, civilians killed by the Russians, which I think they're both accurate. But the problem is, in the West, you hear only about, oh, uh, the Ukrainians are dying, the Russians are killing. It can't be like so perfect. These guys don't touch anybody. Anyway, let's back. Let's go back to the Ukrainians. On their part, units of the rocket forces and artillery of the armed forces of Ukraine hit one Russian combat post, 16 artillery units in firing positions, four anti-aircraft missile systems and two electronic warfare stations. Oh my, look at this, six artillery units. In the Kupians direction, the Ukrainian defenders are firmly holding the defense. So in the Kupiansk, which is right here in the north, the north right here, they hold the positions. So that means that the Russians are attacking. If I look on this map, these are only bombardments, the red dots. And here, let's see what the Russians are saying. The Zapad battle group successfully repelled three attacks by the Ukrainian troops using air and artillery strikes. So, the Ukrainians say, we repel them. These guys say, no, we repel them. Uh, both attacked. According to the Russians, Ukrainians attacked. According to Ukrainians, the Russians attacked. It's the opposite. Look here, in the Kupians direction, the Ukrainian defenders are firmly holding the defense. The Russians launched artillery and mortar attacks on area of, of Kharkiv. An enemy airstrike was recorded in the area of... Probably they did not retreat. They just stayed over there and shoot back. I'm taking. Now we move a little bit south. In the Liman direction, the Russian army conducted unsuccessful offensive operations in the Luhansk region. That is... So here is Kupiansk. We go right here. to the Right here is the Liman. This is Liman. And these are all shellings, pam, pam, pam. And let's see, uh, the Russians seem to have downed a helicopter or an aircraft. Fighter aircraft of the Russian airspace forces shot down a Ukrainian MiG-24 helicopter. So a, a fighter jet destroyed that guy over there. Let's see what's going on here. The Yuk battle group successfully repelled... Oh, where are you? What's going on here? Repelled all attacks by Ukrainian troops using air and artillery strikes. Very good. And here, the same thing. And here, the same thing. And these are bombardments by the Russians, the red dots. 
and the blue ones are bombardments by the Ukrainians of Russian positions. So in the Liman direction, the invaders used aircraft to attack the areas of Bilohorivka of Luhansk region and in Donetsk region. More than 10 settlements came under enemy artillery shelling in Donetsk region. Okay, and Luhansk region. In the Bakhmut direction, this is Artemovsk. We go both move south of, uh, of Liman. This is right here, Artemovsk. Right here. Let's see what the Russians are saying. The Yug battle group successfully repelled all attacks by Ukrainian troops using air and artillery strikes. So the uh, Ukrainians are trying to advance. And the same thing here. So let's uh, nothing from the Ukrainians. They don't say anything about what the Ukrainians did, but they repelled. Let's see what the Ukrainians say in Bakhmut. Russian aircraft struck the, dist the districts of Stupochki and other ones in Donetsk region. I'm not going to break my tongue here. More than 15 settlements, including Liman, Bo Bohdanivka, Kromo Kromove, Ivanivske, and Toretsk of Donetsk region were subjected to enemy artillery shelling. South, in Avdivka region. Avdivka is south of Bakhmut. So we go from Bakhmut into Avdivka, which is right here. Avdivka. Look what's going on here. A lot of... Uh, a lot of attacks. Let's see. The Yug battle group successfully repelled all attacks by Ukrainian troops using artillery and air. The same here. The same. So the, Ru the Ukrainians attack and the Russians are defending according to them. And here are just bombardments, right? Ukrainian forces fired 57 155 millimeter shells at the city. The same all these bombardments. So this is the Avdivka direction. And then next one is going to be Marinka, right here. The Russians don't say anything, but let's go back to the Ukrainians. So in the Avdivka, the defense forces successfully repelled Russian attacks in the area of Avdivka. The invaders launched an airstrike on the Donetsk region. More than 15 settlements came under enemy artillery, shelling, including Tralala Lululu, Donetsk region. Nothing about them attacking, not, nothing about the Ukrainians attacking. And the Russian says, we repelled you. Okay, in the Marinka direction, which is south of Avdivka, the defense forces continue to hold back the advance. Again, the Russians advance in Avdivka. And if I look here, there's nothing. Marinka, there's nothing. It's just uh, whatever Russian forces thwarted the activity of a Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group. And here... Ukrainian forces fired four 155mm shells at the settlement. Nothing. That's crickets here. Nothing. Not even south here in uh, Uhledar. Nothing. Just a bombardment. And these guys say that they hold back the advance of Russian troops in the area of Marinka. Nothing by the Russians. More than 10 settlements came under energy shelling. In the areas of Krasnohorivka, the Russians launched an airstrike. And that's it. They don't even tell us about Zaporozhia. Hey, hello, Zaporozhia, where's Zaporozhia? Where's Kherson? Jesus, weasels. So let's go back to the Russians and then they will tell us the truth then if you, if you uh, don't want to tell us what's going on here. Defending units of the Vostok battle group successfully repelled an attack by Ukrainian troops of the 35th Marine Brigade using air and artillery strikes. Here, a drone was shot down. Correct one right here. Another drone. So this is Zaporozhye right here, Zaporozhye Oblast. And we're going to move here to Kherson. But here is, uh, let's see what this little black dot is. Russian forces successfully repelled two attacks by Ukrainian forces. And then shelling. Let's go here, you see. It's almost always been like this in uh, Kherson. The Ukrainians always bombarded the uh, Russian defensive uh, defense pol uh, positions. But never, the, I mean, not never, sometimes the other way around, but usually they do it. And let's see what's here. Russian air defense has shot down a Ukrainian drones. And if I push on this one, is the Ukrainian shelling villages, villages and towns, right? Civilians, village, so I'm not going to read that. Let's see what happened here. What happened here? In Chernomovs, in Chermo, Chernomorsk and Odessa. Let's see. Russian forces destroyed a fuel depot 
for Russian military equipment. And here, the same thing. So they shelled these guys. I wonder if they did it from here or they did it with some uh, submarines from the Black Sea. But usually when they use the submarines and the vessels located in the Black Sea, they shoot back here. All right, they don't, uh, or Kiev, they don't, this is little thing, it, they can shoot from here. So, this is, I think I saw something in the north. These are shellings by the Ukrainians, nothing else, let, nothing else. So this is a little update on the 12th of um, July 2023. I don't know why the Ukrainians just cut the crap with uh, uh, Kherson and Zaporozhye. Because that's where they claim, I saw other articles, and I'm going to complete this one with those. Uh, they supposedly are um, in a successful offensive in the south. Not Kherson, Zaporozhye area. In the south, they say. Well, that's all the detail. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.